multi-purpose intelligent battle buddy that leads the way in combat and assists dismounted units in a variety of scenarios and scouting buildings, caves and tunnels and will take the bullet in ambush situations. Israel's leading robotic industries displayed their latest innovations designed for combat use in the armed forces as well as for medical and home use. Some of the robots on show included robots produced by Israel's Elbert systems for the army, including one that could be carried into battle. This specific robot was developed by the Israeli army for its own use for the dismounted soldier. That's the only robot today that can be carried into battle and intuitively operated even while they are shooting at you. Ben Gurion University displayed a magnetic climbing robot able to climb bridges, walls and ships. First it is dangerous to climb up. Second it is difficult and takes a lot of time. So sometimes it is easier, faster and safer to take a robot and put it on a ship, outside the ship in the middle of the ocean and look if something happened to the uh, ship uh, structure. I believe that given the strength of the Israeli industry in electronics and in software development and in communications, all we need is just to integrate all of it with hardware and we can be the superpower, the world superpower in robotics.